Showtime here in Las Vegas. A couple of new shows you'll want to know about over at Planet Hollywood in the V Theater. A Star Wars musical and musical, the musical. Tom D'Angora is here. He is the director, producer, creator of these shows. So great to yes. have you on the show. How are you? I'm amazing. Thank you so much for having me. I love you, JJ. I follow you on Insta. Oh my gosh, I have so much love for you too. You're a theater person after my own heart. Uh, let's talk about these shows. So mu Musical, the musical, I was like, wait a minute, this is familiar to me because it actually did a little test run earlier in the year. Yes, we played downtown at the Majestic Repertory Theater for uh, three weeks in the spring and the response was so incredible. We knew we had to come back. Uh, David Sachs saw it and invited us to play the V Theater where we are now. Oh. Um, and we did uh, New York for, uh, you know, just a decade. <laughs> <gasps> yes, the show comes from New York. It had some really exciting cast members when it was in NYC. Oh, yeah. we uh, Perez Hilton has done it. Latoya Jackson, Candy Burris, Sherry O'Terry, speaking of sketch comedy, the original Annie, Andrea McCardle, um, and some amazing core cast members like the legendary Christine Petty, Michael West. Theater people know them. Um, yeah, we had a great run in New York, and we're going back in February. So it's been a great year for Newsical, which um, I am the producer of, but I just want to say that Rick Chrome is the great man who created it, and Mark Waldrop directed that show. Yeah, sorry, I kind of lumped you in as the creator of everything, but you Everyone all Everyone have... lumps me in. Yes. I always get lumped. Well, you know what? That's what happens, Tom, when you're fabulous. Uh, you have a lot of talent oh, that you've been sharing with this amazing cast. So Star Wars, listen, we have a huge... Star Wars fan here at the at the station. You don't have to know Star Wars or love it to enjoy the show, though. No, apparently I know and love it because I co-wrote it. But um, no, actually, people do say whether you love or hate Star Wars, you will laugh the whole time because it's not a it's not a musical parody. It's actually a musical about Star Wars. It's an original musical with original music written by an incredible composer named Billy Reese. Um, me. Taylor Crosor and Scott Foster wrote the scripts to it and created the show together. And it's about the fandom and all the cosplay. And we literally get every drop of the Star Wars canon in the show in 70 minutes with over 30 costume changes. It's hilarious. And it's an original musical about Star Wars and about the fandom. I, 30 costume changes in 70 minutes. That's more than I do in a show. And I do a lot, Tom. Well, you know, I, I always ask myself, what would Cher do? Yes. Oh, my gosh. And Bob exactly. Mackey came to the New York opening, by the way. Bob Mackey came to the New York opening and approved. <laughs> really? We need little bracelets to yeah. say WWCD. What would Cher do? I will make that. them and bring you one. Okay. I'm going to do it. It's on. The V Theater is yes. a very special space uh, here in Las Vegas. There have been so many wonderful shows through there. David Sachs knows how to pick them. Um, it's a oh, little great. Bit I saw The Mentalist last night. It's unbelievable. Jeremy Cambridge is genius. Yes. I yes. couldn't believe it. A great example of a good Amazing. show. Amazing. Yeah. What do you love about this more intimate space? Because I grew up doing kind of, you know, like Black Box, 99 Seat Theater in Los Angeles. So I like a smaller space. Yeah. Well, when um, David showed me the spaces and I saw the one we're at, um, where it's the same one as The Mentalist, um, and I believe All Shook Up used to be there. Um, I fell in love with it. I walked in and I said, oh, this is comedy. Like, this is the perfect theater for comedy. Um, it, it still seats almost 200 people, um, but it feels really intimate. And it just, for some reason, I feel the jokes really land there and you really feel like you're part of the shows, especially in musical, because musical is like SNL, the musical, basically. It's, fun. we're constantly updating it, constantly changing it. We, we make fun of literally everyone from our wonderful president, Joe Biden, to the not so wonderful president, Donald Trump, to the highest depths of reality, the lowest depths of reality TV, to the highest office in the land, everyone in between. And we, we go after Adele and what happened at Caesars and a lot of local stuff as yep. well. So yeah. um, watch out, Wayne Newton. And we talk about Carrot Top, who next to Barry Manilow is my favorite show in Vegas. Yeah, Carrot Top is a legend. He really is amazing. By the way, Genius, I it's so good. You also are a big fan of Liberace. Do you know they're changing the name of Carrot Top? My dog Avenue is named Liberace. Liberace. Really? I do. My dog is named Liberace. <laughs> so I do know that. Wow. I just kind of, I, I knew you loved Liberace. I didn't know that much. Tom, thank you yes. so much. I know. Yeah, I love him. I mean, Barry Manilow is my favorite, though. We can't get it twisted. I am a, I am a fan of love. Yeah. Best show in Vegas at the Westgate. 
absolutely. I have actually held his microphone backstage at the Westgate, but don't tell him that because no one's supposed to touch it. Your shows are dark on Monday night. Where can people find you yeah. and get tickets? Um, you can go to v, uh, vtheater.com, musicalthemusical.com, a musical about Star Wars .com. Tom, such a pleasure to talk to you today. Thank you so much oh for Oh my God, us. you too. Send my love to Ricky.